Welcome in then to latest edition uh, of gee, Extra right. Time. You too much. I know, I know. I had to get my questions. I've got them now. Buried though. Under We're all right. The, uh, That's okay. Rubble. Stephen. Well, you okay? Huh? <laughs> Frank LeBuff is with us as well to answer your tweet. Stevie. Uh, Kanate is Virgil van Dijk's best partner in defence, isn't he? Absolute monster, and he's only 23. Oh. I don't think that was tongue in cheek. I think there was no one on. I, I think for a, at the start of the season, I was kind of beginning to think that maybe this was the partnership. Right. But I don't know. I mean, again, today, the, 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 the goal that Liverpool lose, in my opinion, Kanati has to do way better. You know, if, if you're going to play Harry Kane offside, then you leave him. Hmm. If you're going to go with him, then you've got to get ahead of him. You can't, you can't. And he's done nothing, basically. And he's not got close enough. And Harry Kane is so good that he just, he just needs a little slither of space and he hurts you. So, I honestly couldn't tell you right now who I think the best partner is. Not question, another question for you, Stevie. If Liverpool went into the market for a midfielder in January, what type of midfielder do they need? Declan Rice. I would be oh, happy yeah? with that. OK. Well, he does about everything. He's expensive, he's though. He's expensive. Well, Van Dijk was expensive and he, he's done well for us. Yes. Alisson was expensive. He's done great. OK. Now, on the other hand, Cato was expensive and has done nothing. <laughs> OK, you can just keep talking. <laughs> so you can't always win, even, even though you pay a lot of money for somebody. But uh, right now, I think Declan and Rice would be great for Liverpool, right in the middle of the park. Uh, Stevie, <laughs> can Newcastle last in the top four? It seems the teams below are doing everything they can to help them. No. No? I don't think they can. Where are they going to finish? Um. Six or seven. Right. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the teams below them kind of don't have an awful lot about them. OK. You know, you, can, you, you Things think... above them don't really, do they? No. You think of Newcastle and you think of attacking football, you think of goals, you think of a good spirit, the whole thing. When you start going down and you think of teams like Wolves and all these teams, you, you kind of don't know what you're getting. Well, I think so, you do with Wolves. Well... <laughs> Well, you're not getting any goals. <laughs> I think six at worst. <laughs> yeah. You think six. it's the worst? Yeah. Six because who who are the big six are they replacing? Well, no, because you got City. Yeah. City, Arsenal. Yeah. Then yeah. In no particular order. Tottenham. Yes. Chelsea. Yeah. Man United. Okay. That's five. So you got Liverpool not making the top six. Oh, sorry, six. Liverpool. Liverpool six. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, oh yeah, six or seven then. Mm -hmm. But as you said, the other teams are not particularly consistent, are they? No. No. How are you, Frank? No. You have to, you have to take in perspective, guys, that the fact there is a World Cup very soon, and uh, I yep. don't know if uh, many Newcastle players will be involved. Therefore, they will have a kind of a rest where yep. the others going to work. And they have hard, no Europe, do they, Newcastle? And uh, most of the nope, big teams, nope. they will have to, to work. Yeah, and uh, and exactly. So therefore, they have a chance to finish in the first four. I think I think we are able to make a statement right now about what we we saw the let let's say the the first third of the of the of the Premier League is that for me that the top teams except Man, Man City and Arsenal that all others they dropped their level, and therefore it's uh, it's an open uh, space for many many clubs like Newcastle with talented players. We don't have. We are not involved in the in the European uh, uh, com campaign and the World Cup for many players. Therefore, it's possible for Newcastle to uh, to be in the first four uh, spots. Frank, what's more likely, Denmark winning the World Cup or you dining in shorts? Uh, <laughs> Denmark. <huh? laughs> Denmark winning the World Cup. For sure. yeah. Yeah. Well, Canada might not get to the semis now. I, I know. Depends. Alfonso Davies, obviously Davies. a doubt. A lot of people got in contact with me, Frank, worrying about nah, your prediction. No, it's going to be okay. It's going to okay? be okay. I, 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 phone, I called him and I said, <laughs> man, you know, I made a, a crazy prediction. Now you have to show up because yes. otherwise I'm going to be treated like a crazy by his ESPN FC people, you know. So Frank must so, have some, uh, he must have some money-making scheme and, like, 
in Quebec or something. Really? You yeah. think so? He's invested something somewhere? <laughs> yeah, definitely. No. He's got some, no, something no, going on. Nothing. nothing. Uh, <laughs> with all these uh, last second injuries, Craig, before the World Cup, do you think some players will be cautious and sit out matches this upcoming week if they have any minor injuries, or do you play because they're important oh. league matches? <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Well, if you're carrying a knock, I mean, that's putting the cat among the pigeons. Yep. You can't, if you're carrying like a, a slight calf strain or something like that, you know, what do you do? Uh, I mean, if you're fully fit, you're, you're straight in. But yes. You, then you just have to deal with it. If you're already carrying an injury... See, here's the thing, if you know. think about it, right? So when we played, we could just turn around and go, I've got this or I've got that. Right. You think of all the medical staff they've got now. Send you for a scan. They'll be like, this is what he's at it. Right. Yeah, you're and, not they, gonna, and they yeah, can yeah, start yeah. doing send you for scans and all kinds and go, nothing there. Whereas before, if you wanted to make sure, you yeah. could just go, oh, uh, no, sorry. Bit tight now. I'm yeah, Shaka always said the back was a good one because it was a difficult one to assess. Yeah, that was the difficult one to try and back was always a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank, would you <laughs> would you be 100% committed to Chelsea if, Frank, uh, if France was just around the corner? Yes, of course, because you cannot calculate uh, and it's impossible. We talked about that last week, I think, uh, with Shaka. <clears throat> Uh, during the show, where you, you say you cannot, you cannot think too much about about what, well, if you have to slow down, you know, uh, during a game, because it's where you're going to get injured, because you don't, you're not completely focused on what you have to do. You don't know, you 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 you, I mean, you think about not getting injured. It's when you start getting injured. You know, when you don't think about it and you go for it, you know, you avoid many many problems. You know. Uh, for, for, for the other thing, it's not only the back that you can, uh, you can use in that case, the, the ankle also is yeah, almost it's a good impossible one. To, uh, to know if you really have a problem. Yeah, it's a very good one. Uh, do you know what? I've been impressed with Frank over Frank the years. The, wax bath there, no? the, the improvement of the word focus coming from what? you. Focus has definitely improved over the years from where I we started. I work hard on it. Yes. I work very hard on it. I know, I know. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> Can Stevie replace Ralph at St Mary's? It's worth a shot, isn't it? Oh, it'd be the best day yeah, ever. I know, for God's sake. We're <laughs> harping on about bleeding the size of Martinez. I know. <laughs> the Martinez dominates you. I couldn't. No? Yeah, you I could. could. You no, could. Why not? Stevie, you get, what, two mil? <laughs> and the rest. And think, think how much no. of that he'd spend, at least no. a pound. Yeah, still get the pot. Eleanor out picking up the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the garden. <laughs> well, the problem is you say that, and you can start off by saying that, <clears throat> but at the end of the day, when the game starts, you're not thinking about money. It's about, it's about winning and all the other stuff. Right. So why, why couldn't you, why, why you say you can't? Put your name in for it. God's oh sake. God. I told you the last, <laughs> the last time I was coaching, I, I, I was on... Um, Blood pressure pills, it drives you insane. Right. What are you on? You need some in here, I think, today. Honestly, <laughs> it's driving him insane. It drives you insane. <laughs> yeah, but you're not, you're working from uh, Southampton. Exactly. Sounds nice, I used to live there. Yeah. I told you. South Coast. Ocean you've got, Village, If you've got a good team and you've got good players, then it's it's really enjoyable. Yeah. And you know you can't always win. Right. But at least when you're competitive and, and all that, it's, it's great. You see, when you know you've not got a good team, and you're actually losing to teams that you think are worse than you. Mm. That destroys you. Right. And there's nothing you can and there's nothing you can do about it. Like like Hassan Hutel can't do anything. He doesn't he doesn't have any money to go and buy other players. You got the count. He's left with he's left with all the ones that so through, through no fault of his, by the way. I mean we talk about we talk about Forrest bringing 21 players in, right? Yep. Southampton must have brought in like 21 players over the last two or three seasons yeah. and got rid of all the good players. How would you fancy him as an assistant? No. <laughs> Why not? I would definitely be good cop, <laughs> bad cop. <laughs> Why, what would be the problem? What's the problem? Yeah. Well, because he'd, he'd, they'd all be naffed off with him after 10 minutes. Why? What would he do? Well, because he'll just tell them straight what the problem is. <laughs> Well, maybe that's well, what they want well, to you hear. can't do that. Oh, well. <laughs> you can't, if you've got, as I said, yeah. If you've got good players, then it's easy peasy. Right. And he would be fine. Right. But when you've got bad players, right. and they're, they're not good, right. but they don't, they don't know that. They think they're good. So he would just crush them? No, I wouldn't. Well, he wouldn't, he wouldn't crush them. They would just oh. down tools and blame him. 
It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be their fault. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take <laughs> the blame. <laughs> it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be their fault that they can't play football. Right. They would blame him. What, because what? Well, I can't work. He's always on. He's negative. He's always on my back. <laughs> I can't, how can I perform? I've not, not even done the job yet. <laughs> <laughs> how can I go and perform? Hey, Liverpool when reserves, I... take that job. Oh, Come on, there you go. Anybody? MLS, oh, USL. Yeah, oh, all right. It's oh. great. Right, well, hey, great job, the assistant. See, be an assistant of somebody that's really good right. for 25 years. Fantastic. Right. Great job. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, Steve, I wish you got a job in coaching. We would love We'd lead the show with no. it every day. No. It'd be fantastic. Uh, final question. What is the funniest insult you've received from a fan that you're allowed to share? Funniest? This is tricky, yeah. Oh, my well, God. yeah. Go on. So, one of my last seasons playing was over here. Okay. The Bulldogs, was it? Yeah, Bulldogs, and we're playing Charleston Battery. Okay. What about managing them? <laughs> no. Still this. It, you know, it boils down to the same thing. It's when you're losing, late. it's not right. fun. Anyway, <laughs> so it was one of my last games. Now, I was 38 and a half, maybe 39. Okay, all right. It's like a child. It was one of my last years. <laughs> yeah. And actually, I thought I was in decent shape. As, which, you, I, which, as you still do. Which, which it probably was for being 39. Right. <laughs> But as you get older, your shape does tend to go a little rotund. Where's he so, going this? Well, so <laughs> I'm playing, right? But I'm playing with a bunch of young guys who are like, but have gotten no, not an ounce of fat. Yeah. They're like ripped because they're on the weights. Right. They're all slim. Okay. Right? Right, right, right. So we're playing this game, and then all of a sudden I hear, we get a corner against us. And then all of a sudden I hear from behind the goal, who ate all the pies? <laughs> who ate all the pies? You bleep 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 bleep. Yep. bleep. Yep. Who ate all the pies? I was like, ah, oh. brilliant. There was a bunch of English guys behind the door. I was like, ah. Oh. Yes. Was that Eleanor and Michael? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they come to watch you. <laughs> yeah. And actually, saw, I got saw them after the game. They were in the bar after the game. Right. Was you and they came the up to me and I was like, I was like, I'll tell you. I was like, ah. <laughs> All right, lads. What did you say to them? I just looked at them and they smiled and I went, oh, It's quite funny. Yeah. That's all right. That oh. could be worse. Yeah. 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 That was it nice. just came from nowhere, though. Me. But it was nothing. Nothing nice, nothing, no. No. I, I, you had it from your own fans. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. It's very rare somebody gets a bit... It's very rare a fan is sarcastic. Right. And funny. It's yeah. Usually, uh, it's usually... It's, it's usually nasty. It's nasty. Yeah. Oh, it's nasty. Nasty. It's Frank? Nasty. Nasty. Nothing much that I remember which would be in a nice way and that I could tell, you know, because uh, it was always nasty. But I remember one day uh, I, was, um, I was warming up, you know, with the national team and somebody came to me, a fan, and I was next to him and he said, hey, Frank LaBeouf, you know, lend me your head, I'm going to rob a bank. I don't know what he meant. So oh. Maybe we needed a, a very ugly face to rob <laughs> the bank. But I don't know. That was the only thing who made me... He, he, he made me laugh, you know, I couldn't stop laughing. He said, why you need yeah, my face to rob a bank, yeah, whatever. That's very but the only thing that I was thinking of, yeah. Uh, there we are. That right. is oh, marvellous. Yeah. Well, that's it. You got to date night tonight, haven't you? I'm taking Mrs. Burley out, Stevie. Sunday night. Like, strange Sunday night. night. Well, cheap. Why is it strange? Because <laughs> well, nobody night. goes out on a Sunday night here. Well, the place I go is pretty busy. Yeah, I bet it is. Yes. I'll tell you what, I want you to take a picture oh. when you get there. Why are you having a go for going out on a Sunday night? I'm just telling you. There's nobody goes out on a Sunday night. You live on a Sunday night. Nobody goes out, do Yeah, no, well, it's great. People go out where you live. Yeah, of course, the people <laughs> go out where I live. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're here. <laughs> no, no one's out on a Sunday. No, they don't. Not on a Sunday. Hey, Frank, we'll be going out soon when you come over here. Beautiful. Yeah. Not on a Sunday, Frank. Not on a Frank, <laughs> Frank, Mark Donaldson says I'll have the it's short. okay if I have some of your chips. Yeah, you can just fries. have the fries. Just, oh, Frank's very generous with your fries, aren't you, Frank? Okay, guys. <laughs> Yeah, okay, no problem. I'm going to come with my shorts, for sure. Yes, perfect. Put uh, them over your head. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.